now for your money. One of our Better TV viewers sent us a question for our family financial and legal expert, Alexis Martinelli. Due to medical bills and my medical condition, I can no longer work. What can credit card companies do if I can no longer make payments? I'm married and the cards are in my name only. My husband is not an authorized user. We do have a joint checking account and the house is in both of our names, but I have no income. What should we do? This is a difficult situation. So Alexis, what should our viewer do here? Okay, well let's start off with this. If you're in a community property state versus if you're not in a community property state because the answers are different. Okay. If you're not in a community property state, it's possible that your husband is off the hook, is not going to be responsible at all for your debt. But if you're in a community property state, the debt is owned equally just like your assets are and so your husband is still going to be on the hook. Now, if you're in a non-community property state, remember I said that your husband is off the hook, but you're a joint account holder, you own that house together, that means your creditors can come back against your assets. Okay, so can she take her name off the house and the joint account and would those assets be protected? Well, maybe. That could be a good start. Up in the air with this. Yeah. Okay. So, so what do we do here? Well, because the debt was incurred when those assets were owned, right. they could still be at risk. Okay. So there's something called fraudulent conveyance. You don't want to get involved with that because that's a really bad thing. Sure. So you want to avoid getting uh, in trouble for trying to avoid your creditors. Okay. What you should do is call the creditors. Explain the situation. See if they're willing to work out some sort of a payment plan. And a lot of creditors will do this if you yeah. explain a situation. It's better than defaulting on a payment. Absolutely. That way, if you tell them your problem, yeah. they could be willing to work with your interest rate That's or, or right. other things. That's right. And so the thing is, is just not to bury your head in the sand. To confront it head on. Take responsibility for it. Don't try and run away from it. Try to do something about it. And I know that the viewer said that you've got medical problems, you can't work but you can still increase your income so that you can pay off that debt. And that's going to be the key, is finding a way to make some money so you can pay off that debt. You're going to feel so good about it if you can do that. So what do you suggest she does? Well, I don't really think it's about getting a job for you. You said you have you know, right, medical, medical condition. Problems, yeah. You've got to start a business. And the key is, is that you've got to find whatever it is that you're passionate about and start a business around that. Let me There's, ask you this, yeah. and, and not to interrupt you, but how do you start a business when you're in these financial straits? I mean, yeah. how do you even go about starting that and, and looking at that as an option? Well, if your husband is working, perhaps he can contribute some money towards it. But there's people who have started businesses with no money at all. I know a woman in my community, she has stage 4 breast cancer. Mm -hmm. You think, oh, well, she can't do anything. She has stage 4 breast cancer. She started a community magazine for women in our community. And when she's feeling good, she's able to do it. There's another woman who's disabled. She's got a, a parenting newsletter that she started. She's making money from it. She's got advertisers who support it. And ultimately who support her as well. The key is to find what you're passionate about. Don't feel afraid just because of your past difficulties. You have your whole future in front of you. You can make a nice four to five, some people even making six or seven figure incomes doing this. Here's a website resource for you. It's called astonishingbusiness.com. That's www.astonishingbusiness.com. What do people find there? What they'll find there is ways that anybody can take whatever it is that they're knowledgeable about, passionate about, or that they love to do and turn it into a business from their home using the internet. It really is possible for anybody and you have a whole future to be able to do it. It's a great place to start and, and as Alexis said, be sure if you're in a similar situation to talk with your creditors because they're yeah. the ones who can probably help you at least get into a position where you can lower some of your payments and yeah. at least start things on the right foot. That's right. But I, I hate to see people just thinking about, okay, how can I save a few hundred dollars? Well, what you can be thinking about is how can I make a few hundred There you dollars. go. It's all in the way you think yeah. about things. Thank you, Alexis. If you have a question you'd like Alexis to answer, you can email her at your money at